Hey guys, it's Will. It's Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday if we post this today. <laughs> if we don't, it'd be like a Tuesday. I'm saying happy Friday to you. If you're new to the channel, you could hit the subscribe button. That'd be a huge help. Thank you so much. Give us a comment. Give us a thumbs up. I'm here today to talk about Kung Fu Bob. If you watch the channel, you know who Kung Fu Bob is. If you don't watch this channel, uh, I busted out just three three movies that I really love the Kung Fu Bob artwork on. One is this release of Heart of Dragon. I love this movie and I love this Kung Fu Bob artwork. Um, here we have the uh, Protector. These are all 88 films releases too, if you're unfamiliar with just, you know, the UK Blu-ray company. Um, uh, this is just, so, like, this artwork is so amazing. And so encapsulates why this movie is amazing. A lot of people disagree with me that this movie is amazing, but I think this movie is amazing. And then uh, the, I really love this one, The Master. And actually, Bob did a commentary track on this release that's really fantastic, too. So check this release out. So, And, you know, he's like 36 styles. He does, like, all the designs for the clothing company. And, uh, like, a huge lifelong kung fu fan. Um uh, Kung Fu film fan, I should say. And um, so he emailed me and uh, was like, hey, I'm doing artwork for RZA. Like, what? So, you don't, you know, I mean, you know who RZA is, right? If you don't know who RZA is, RZA is like the head, basically the head member of the Wu-Tang Clan, right? So uh, I'm originally from New Jersey. And when I was a kid in New Jersey, this is like kind of like middle school and high school Wu-Tang was like huge like all the kids in my middle school and high school had like the black hoodies with the big yellow W on them for Wu-Tang and uh like they were all over MTV they were all over the radio it was like them Notorious B.I.G and those are really like the two that I remember being in Puff Daddy like just being like in the Fugees because you know the Fugees I think are from New Jersey um and so they were just, they were so huge. And so Wu-Tang is like this larger than life entity that has loomed throughout much of my life. And I'm a huge Wu-Tang fan. And so when Bob sent me this email, I was like, what? So RZA, if you don't know, is a huge fan of Shaw Brothers films and generally speaking, old school Kung Fu films. And he does this thing called 36 Cinema where he does live commentaries to old school Kung Fu movies. And so this coming Saturday, which is tomorrow, April 24th of 2021, RZA is doing a commentary along with Dan Halstead, who's like a, a, like a film scholar, I think, and he's like a really well known for collecting film prints. He has like a huge collection of, of like Asian films and Hong Kong films and Kung Fu films and stuff like that. They will be doing a live commentary to Heroes of the East. This is like an all time classic Shaw Brothers film. It's one of the first Shaw Brothers movies I saw actually years ago. Um, just an incredible movie. Gordon Liu is in it. It's directed by Lau Karl Lung. Yasuaki Kurata is in it. Um, like lots of just like fun hijinks, weapons, martial arts. Like it's, it's a, there's like a ninja. There's like really really awesome vintage classic Shaw Brothers movie and it's one of Bob's favorite movies and so RZA or someone who works for RZA or someone reached out to Bob and was like hey RZA would like you to do exclusive artwork for this live commentary so I'm gonna put all the links in the description of this video um, you can buy copies of Bob's poster, which is like fantastic and I think really like articulates the essence of the film. Some other people on Instagram have commented. I posted the artwork on Instagram that he did and some other people have commented the same thing. Like this like does a great job of really capturing the essence of that film. Um, so the prints I think are 20 bucks. There's or maybe it's 40. I think they're 40. I think the tickets to the streaming event are 20. I think the prints of the poster are 40. They're limiting to 36 editions of the poster signed by Riza. I think those are like 80 bucks, but that's pretty cool. I mean, Amondo posters are like 60 bucks anyway, right? So it's like 20 more bucks for this amazing Kung Fu Bob artwork. I'm not saying it's Amondo, but I'm making the comparison of like high quality movie prints and posters by artists are usually kind of expensive. So 20 bucks more and you get Riza's signature on, right? And what's maybe just as cool is that Bob's artwork was in Rolling Stone. Rolling Stone ran a piece about um, RZA is reviving the Bobby Digital uh, um, like character, pseudonym, whatever you want to call it, that he uses. And in an article about it in Rolling Stone, they mentioned the upcoming streaming event and they had Bob's poster in there. So it's just like, the point of this video is Kung Fu Bob's awesome and he's doing artwork for RZA, which is like the coolest thing in the world. And so yay Kung Fu Bob, everyone go and tell Kung Fu Bob on Instagram how awesome he is. Go buy prints and t-shirts from his store and stuff. Pick up this 
this Eastern or Heroes of the East, rather, excuse me, um, print. Uh, again, the link is in the description. Um, and uh, I know some people who sub to this channel are, have already already have tickets for the live stream or play on going. I can't because it's like right around the time that my kids go to bed. Like we start dinner and bedtime routine right around 6 p.m. in L.A. So this is a 9 p.m. East Coast event, 6 p.m. West Coast event. So it's just the timing is just wrong for me, which is a total bummer. Um, but I think it's going to be a really cool event. But but even cooler than that, Kung Fu Bob, who's like the man and is just the... If you're on Instagram, Kung Fu Bob is very active on Instagram. It's just like the nicest dude in the world. And like will comment on everything and will have conversations with people in the comments. It just like loves these movies so, so much. It wants to share that love with people. So the point of this post is really just congrats and big up to Kung Fu Bob. This is really fantastic and incredible working with Riza. Um, you've heard me mention Riza on this channel before. Like I said, I can't emphasize enough like how like Wu Tang to me is almost like I would imagine like someone like Bob Dylan would be to like someone who grew up in the 60s because they're just like so huge that it's almost like this mythological figure. Like everyone had the t-shirts on and like they had there were all these larger than life characters and it was like they're almost like their own musical cinematic kind of universe. Like they were all putting out solo albums and some of them were in movies and on TV and just like, yeah. So it's pretty cool. My name is Will, Song Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.